So we're starting off in the centre of Wakefield today. Um, I did put 8.9 miles on this yesterday, so it's not fully charged. But I think it's about 10% down, but that's where we're starting. Uh, so it's done 8.9 miles already. So we're going to see how we get on today. It's fully loaded up. <clears throat> I weigh 230 pound and we're carrying about another, well, 25 pound in the battery and about another 15 pound with what I'm carrying in kit. So we're heading over to Leeds today, I think. I'm just gonna see what a bike takes us. So, as I said, I think it was 8.8, 8.9 8 miles on the bike. So we're down to around, it's saying 92% on the, on the batteries. So if that holds up quite well, I'll be happy with that. But as I say, we're heading over to Leeds. So we're gonna be going past quite a bit of traffic. It's freezing. I think it's about seven or eight degrees at the moment. It's sunny, which makes a change, but it's bloody cold. So let's see how we get on. We're gonna go a bit of a roundabout way into Leeds so I can get some miles up. Um, it's the only way I can get some mileage out of this thing without sort of just going around the same old spots. My hands are freezing. We're gonna we're gonna go around the houses a little bit down into Leeds, which means that I'm gonna go up to a place called Morley, which is a bit of a safer route than the main route into Leeds, up to Gilderson, and then I'm gonna head down from there into Leeds, which is basically all I feel that bit, but then going down into Leeds, it's all all downhill. We're now heading up towards Morley. I've just missed out the main bypass into Leeds. I'd have liked to have set off earlier this morning, but there's frost all over my car, so... As cold as it is now, it was even colder then. The other thing we have to take into consideration is these batteries have been in my garage all night, so they're during a frost. So they're not going to be running at their highest efficiency. So it's something to bear in mind. You might be able to see Leeds in the distance. All the way over there. Um, I don't know how good this dead cat's doing, but it's very windy, it's very cold, and I've been against the wind pretty much wherever I've gone today, so... I'd say it's just cold. I think it said it's 8 degrees now. Which it might be a bit warmer than earlier, because I can feel one of my fingers again now. We're getting a bit closer to Leeds now, so if you probably look up over that way a little bit. Let's click it up a little bit. That's Leeds down there. It's about three miles from here. So we're getting there, level five. Just burning this battery down as best we can. I'm taking a little detour of interest. We're gonna go have a look. It's somewhere I used to spend a lot of time at when I was younger. And that's Ellen Road Football Ground. I've always supported shit teams, but Leeds is always in my heart to a certain extent. We um, also used to support, well, when I was a young'un, I used to get the train over to Wakefield to watch Wakefield Trinity lose every fortnight. Spend my pocket money that way. But this, this is the world famous Ellen Road, Leeds United. I think I'm going to take you around to have a look at Billy Bremner's statue as well while I'm here. Bremner was famous. He's one of the best players that Leeds ever had. In modern standards, he probably couldn't keep up, but uh, he was Leeds through and through. Yeah. 
and there it is. this statue there lots of interest so here we are centre of Leeds made it like I said it's not the warmest of days there's the Queen's Hotel there Which is nice. I spent a lot of time here as a kid, coming into Leeds on a Saturday, going shopping. And just over there, where you can see the Grand Pacific, next door used to be a nightclub called The News, which I used to spend a lot of time in there. It's changed a lot over the years. It's become, I suppose, what it wanted to be, really bigger. But it's still a beautiful city. Anyway, that's what we've got so far. I'll see you on the other side. So we're leaving Leeds now and we're heading over towards Putsey. I'm going to give Bradford a miss because I've just spoke to the police and they said there's protests going on there all day. And um, it's rather something I wouldn't want to get caught up in. But I'll see you when I get over into Putsey. Just coming down into Putsey now where I was brung up. Windy as fuck. This is where I spent my youth. At one point, Putsey had more pubs per square mile than anywhere in West Yorkshire, which, when you start drinking at 14, gives you options but yeah this is Pudsey it's one of the few places apart from that bus station that hasn't really changed much over the years it's still the same um, you see the town hall in it which is on the right hand side which is also the court Court, Putsey Courthouse, which I had to go to once for being drunk and disorderly. And it got, my case got pushed over to after lunch, so I went to the pub and had a few pints and went back and got a £15 fine for pissing on a WPC in the marketplace by accident. It's a long story. And that that was Pudsey. We're just coming out of Morley now and heading into Wakefield. And the one thing I need to change on this is the chain ring. It's diabolical. Once you hit 17 mile an hour, you're no longer pedaling. It's just, I'm not, unlike my end wave, been able to put, with the bigger chain ring on, I've not been able to put any energy into this bike whatsoever. So this has pretty much been, although I've been pedaling, I haven't been doing anything. So this has pretty much been all on the battery. And when you consider my weight, which I'll pull up on there and everything else, it's on this bike at the moment. It's, um, it's doing not a bad job. You fat bastard. Now just going across the M1 at Leeds, uh, Wakefield, and going down into Wakefield. As I say, I've barely pedalled this bike. It's all been on 
Well, it ain't having a lot of choice, really, because the chainring on this is diabolical, but we're not far from home now. I think we're about five miles from home. And it's, it's been a pleasure, really. I haven't strained myself at all by riding this thing. The saddle's not as cuddly as I thought it was on a long ride. It's all right on short stuff, but yeah. Let's see where we're at when I get home. We're coming down into Wayfield proper. Um, I'm not tired, my ass is sore. And it's been freezing cold, which has done nothing to help me today. But I'm going to do this test again at some point because I'd rather do it on a full charge and in warmer weather to see what the battery difference and how the capacity changes in colder weather to warmer weather to see if the range, I can actually track what I did before off of my relive and redo the same route, which would be interesting to see what the outcome of that is. But yeah. We're just coming down into the centre of Wakefield now. And I'm about three miles from home, so not too far. See how that goes. Well, I'm going to have to stop and have a drink because I had a drink since half nine this morning, just four hours ago. Nearly home. Nearly on. So as I say, level five pretty much all the way. I've barely done any pedalling. And by barely, I mean my legs have been going round, so I'll keep repeating that. Um, to be honest, it's been a nice day out. I very rarely get to get out on this bike or any bike. I got the Lanka Lazy dual motor in the garage to build and that will be my next review, but that's weeks away yet because I just, I'm starved of time and it's causing me a few problems with trying to do this, trying to do work, trying to do billing, trying to appease clients. So something's got to give and it's going to be like this, I think, for a bit. Although I'll try and get at least one video up a week. So let's see where I've got to when I get home. Um, we'll have a look at what the batteries are at when I look at them tomorrow. So, or maybe later today, because I want to see what they sit out at, because there's going to be some sag in them. So that's it for now.